Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Timberborn. This is a, uh, it's a colony builder being developed by Mechanistry, still in the very early, early days of development. There is a Steam page, however, there's, there's no download available there, but you can pick it up over on their Discord. It's uh, just a very open, uh, open alpha, early, early days. But what's going on here is we've got a society of beavers, yes? Society of beavers. The humans have gone long extinct, and beavers have taken over the world. So we're going to be building houses and workshops and chopping down trees and building farms and doing all the typical colony things with a uh, with a beaver flair to it. Uh, wood is the uh, is the product, uh, the unit of choice. Uh, the Steam page calls it lumberpunk beavers. Um, so we'll see what that means in a moment. But we've got three different kinds of beavers that we can choose from. Right now we can just do the one because we're uh, we won't, haven't played the game much, but the common everyday beaver. Nothing special about him. I don't know about that. Uh, we have the eager beaver, which we can unlock and eventually have someone who doesn't sleep much and does more food eating. We have the fancy beaver who likes fancy things, I suppose. We'll stick with the common beaver, of course, and go with Beaverville large. Okay, so uh, it's, it's a typical colony builder. Room world, you know, uh, founder's force, all those sort of things, just with beavers. We can take a look at them here and see what, uh, let's let's see what their names are. Hey, you. Hey, Tirizzi who is uh, 47 days old. We can see all of his things, his wants and desires. He's he's homeless at the moment. He is a laborer at the moment as well. We got little baby beavers, Vengeon, here, who's eight days old. And we got Rajin here, 36 days old. There's a little guy over here, which I can't seem to click. Uh, well, he's back over there somewhere. And, and the big guy's around 15 days old, I guess, as an adult. Everything's happy right now. Uh, we have a small warehouse at the moment, and we have a few different trees and some land around. We got a nice looking river flowing through here. Yeah, it's nice. It's real nice. So, let's see what we can do. We've got... Uh, you may not know this about beavers. Well, maybe future beavers. We have birch trees over here. Beavers love to eat birch twigs. If we chop this tree down, we will be provided with twigs that we will snack on. We're going to go ahead and chop all the mature trees here in the uh, in the birch field. And we've got pine trees over here that we can use for logs. So, we're going to chop those down as well. So, all my laborers will go in and start dealing with that. But we can't do much with those logs because we've got no place to put them. Uh, the warehouse will hold twigs, but that's it. So let's go into the storage land and put in a log pile. I guess we'll stash it in like right across the way here. There we go. Let's look at the work. I think it's already done, right? Yeah, it's already there. So they can just grab the logs and toss them in there. They're grabbing some, some twigs and, ha and hauling them in here so we can snack on them. Um, you can eventually, you may, quite, may, may be wondering, what, what possibly would, would beavers eat? Futuristic beavers, what do they eat besides twigs? Obviously, they eat carrots and potatoes. So, let's make a potato field here. There's a uh, there's a couple different things. Carrots, you can just yank them out of the ground and eat them. Um, but potatoes require um, a, a, a bakery or a, a grill to cook them up. Um, I'm not going to make the same mistake I made in my test game here. I'm going to make a watering place first. So, we're going to stick this thing over here by the water so that people or the beavers can come have a drink. I put a couple of them in here. I made the mistake of laying everything out and then uh, the watering place last... And everybody died, so let's see if we can prevent that from happening this time. <clears throat> go up on 7x speed, and let them get to work. Um, I think most of them are actually going to go over here and not work on that. So maybe what we'll do, actually, is say, um, um, cancel some of that. Uh, and cancel most of it. Just just get a few of them done. You know, I don't want you guys... I don't think there's any way of setting priorities, so... Oh, here he goes. Grabbing some logs. Hauling them straight over there. Excellent. Good job, buddy. What's your name? Who are you? Rajin. Yeah, yeah. Good job. So what this is is it's a it's just like a little it's a, it's stairs. <laughs> we're beavers. We need stairs to get to the water, okay? And so that, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Little little Vangin here is getting a drink, and they just step down there. And it's just a little trough of water for him, uh, just in case things you know they get thirsty. Uh, anyway, let's get some houses in here because we got no houses for these guys. Poor guys. Uh, let's set up like a little housing spot right over here somewhere. Can I do something? It's gonna be a little off. Um, let's do that. Maybe put four houses in here. Yeah, like that. Everyone's snoozing. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> My music seems to have stopped. I'm playing music in the background because there's no music to the game. Ooh, that's exciting music. There we go. Okay. So, uh, we'll let these guys play out. I'm going to speed up here. Let me show off some of the things you can make. In the game, so we've got leisure. We need a campfire so people can relax, which probably would be a good, uh, would be a good idea to have around here at some point. Um, I can put it in there right now, I suppose. You can stash it in like right there. Put it over here. I get to work on that. Do you have enough logs? What's going on here? Why is everyone going so slow? Oh, more logs! You can chop this in trick real quick. Okay, there we go. 
Go get some logs, haul them in here, bring them in, stack them in here, get the houses done, get the uh, the campfire done. Uh, we've also got uh, a, a Lido, which we can unlock with science points. Science points are unlocked with a uh, an inventor's hut, which one of our beavers will go and do that job, which will bring science in. Um, we can also bring the potato field, which I mentioned before, which uh, we can put in here and then get in a, uh, a bakery or a grill to cook some stuff up. Let's stick this back over here, like that, I think. And then we get our, uh, we'll put our grill over this way, I do believe. It'd be perfect. I think that'll work. Yeah, like right over here. Sure. And then we can put in, we've got other kind of things we can make here. Uh, wheat fields eventually with science. There's our bakery for uh, for the flour we can grind up. Water pumps, uh, paper makers, inventors workshops for better inventing. Uh, we can do uh, forestry to make more trees. Mechanical production. So this is where the lumber punk comes in. We can make carpenters first off, which will make planks for things like walkways and things. Uh, then we get grill, uh, a grist mill, turns wheat into flour, paper mills. Now these things all require electricity, and you can see that thing, that gear grinding back there. So if we set this thing up, we're going to have to have power for it, which is where the next thing comes in. We got water wheels we can stash in here, which we can connect up to each individual building to provide power for those buildings. And then we have to come in and put in shafts to connect them all up and, and angle them on all that, and we can get these, uh, these T-shaped intersections at some point to help that along as well, which we'll probably do uh, as soon as we can. Oh, look, houses are done. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, the little doors work on them, too. I didn't even see that. Okay, we got Tidamore, uh, Rajin, and Vinji are living in this one. These things hold two adults and one kid. And they're once again here having a snooze. We have 41 twigs. No logs, because we are <laughs> busy beavers. Using our logs up on our houses at the moment. We can set up our working hours. I don't know if I want to mess with that. I'm gonna get to work, you slobs. Six hours of sleep. Perfectly. You know what? Five hours of sleep. That's all you guys need. You'll be alright. And what else do we have here? We have structures. We can set up some ramps if we need to, so we can go up. We can only get these trees real quick. We could. We can either walk around all, all the way around this way to get these trees, or we can just build a little ramp and hop up there and get those. I think for the twigs, we got this stash over here, and I believe this is the only other ones we have. So keep an eye on our twig production. Twig chopping. Let's go ahead and get those all taken care of because I don't want to run out. Because uh, I would like to not die today. Uh, we can come in and we can set up uh, where is it? Hauling post water tank. Um, here it is. Some wooden paths. Once we get planks to help people walk around a little faster. Uh, but that's going to require oh my campfire is done. Which is going to be just a social yeah there we go. Look at that guy. I wish I could zoom in a little closer. This is as close as I can get but look at that guy. Look at that. There they are. Just having a chat, talking about beaver things. There they go, waddling on back to there. <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, uh, get to work, you beavers. We need more logs to come in here. Crank this thing up. Uh, then we got plenty of water going this way. I need to get a path to come around this way and, and then come on up so we can speed things along. But we're going to have to get uh, more logs before that happens. All the twigs are coming in. We need to get this, this field going, too. We got three logs in there so far. And we can bring some more. And there's no construction yet. <clears throat> you know, it's early days, right? Very early days. So things just sort of pop in. So Tidamore and Raji Rajin are going to work on this farm now. And they'll plant some potatoes. And we can change that if we want one or two to work on this thing. Uh, and it'll bring out some um, some potatoes. Which provide a lot more food than like a, like a... You can do carrots, which you can just pull out of the fields and eat. And potatoes you can cook up and eat. I like to point out, I have grown potatoes before. You can eat potatoes raw. It's not terrible. I mean, it's kind of terrible, but it's not It's not the end of the world. It's not like you're going to die. If, if I was going to die, I would happily eat a raw potato. Okay, potatoes are getting here. Kina is working on this, but there's no potatoes yet, so Kina, get out. We're going to turn this one off. Uh, can I kick you out? Uh, turned off. Yeah, get out. Go uh, go do other things. So while this is, we're waiting for the potatoes to come in. There's no point in having this grill running yet, because it requires logs to grill four potatoes from one. Oh, it makes four grilled potatoes from one potato. Oh. Yeah, and it's Nutrition 2 as well, which you can see here. Got comfort going on. Aesthetics? No. Um, oh, I haven't shown off awe. Oh, decorations we can do as well. We can also make a labor monument. Tribute to all the laborers. We've got a flame of progress. I wish I could see it. And we also have the tribute of ingenuity. This is all awe oh, things. So, you, um, you know, the life of a beaver, you gotta... Things have to impress you. Alright, so that's going all there. I think the next step is going to be, we've got, we have food production, we have logs coming in, we got happiness, uh, we got relaxation, 
we, I think, need to go and get our, um, our carpenter shop set up. It's going to require power, though. So let's set up a water wheel. I'm going to stash it. I think I'm just going to stash it over here. Like that. And then we'll connect up the, um, I think what I want to do is put in, like, a, sh a shaft thing. Let me wait for this thing to be, we'll wait for this to get built. And then we'll, we'll do the, the shaft thing. Because we can put in, like, a, um, an intersection here. Which will allow us to branch off if we need to, to other buildings along the way. And have all our powered stuff kind of connected up to one thing. Seems like the way to do this. I may stick one shaft just, just to uh, give us a little space. Okay, here comes some logs. Grabbing from there. Hauling on down. How much do you hold? You hold 180. Okay, plenty of space. And we got more logs to be chopping here. Keep on chopping these things. You can see we've got four uh, laborers, two in the potato, potato field, and zero in the grill. So we're kind of using up all our people if we... Uh, Oh, look at it. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, nice. I like it. Very nice. Good job, buddy. Is that you? You did that? No, you're just a little kid. Schuber. All right, uh, let me put in... Oh, Vanjin has grown up. Oh, nice. We have six adults, two kids now. All right, let's get that, um, that carpenter shop set up. We're going to make sure it sets up perfect. We can set line it up here now like this and have it working. Or what I was thinking is that we set this thing up like this and then put the carpenter shop in mechanical production and it'll go in like that yeah until we have like a row of power things we can have this thing branch out here we can have more of of these come out from here so we can you know future proof things we can set one here and have a building right over there yeah it'll be alright this guy wants some water he'll get some there he goes and then this will allow us to build some planks. So let's go ahead and get ready for that. We can put in some wooden paths, which require one plank. And let's go, like, uh, let's make this place fancy. He wants power. Maybe like that. And like that. Uh, we don't need one there, but um, actually, I may even get rid of that. And then go down here. Uh, to the water. Let's do something like this. And then over here. Actually, I don't want these. I'm going to put, like, decorations or something in there. Not that one. I want that one. You go away. And you go away. Okay, so as planks get ready to go, once this gets made, we need, um... Oh, we need... Wait. We need planks... Oh, we need planks for that. That's not going to work. All right. Let's go put one of these guys in here. Like that. Okay. There we go. Now it's going. Look at it. Ooh. Is it going? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he just left. There it goes. There he's, he's carrying some planks now into the, the main shop. Oh, we had a baby. Tangent was born. Oh, yeah. There she is right there. Excellent. Comfort is okay. How are you guys feeling? Comfort? Yeah, yeah. You're fine. Sleep? It's fine. You, you don't need you don't need more than five hours of sleep. Alright. Perfect. Okay. And there the uh, looks like the potatoes are coming in. We got thirty-four percent progress there, so they're they're getting there. Inedible raw. We do have only sixteen twigs left. Do we have any more than yeah, we can grab some of these. These are growing. Let's make sure we keep this running in. I don't want to die here. And make sure those keep coming in. If we have to, we can come grab some way over here. I don't know that... Surely there's a way... A uh, footbridge. Here we go. We need 110 science points to get across this this place. Speaking of science... Uh, let's get that inventor's hut going. Uh, where is that? It's over inventor's hut. I can stash it in... It looks like it should go right here in the main main area. Could easily squeeze it in here, though. Yeah, let's get over here. Like that. I'm going to put another field. Oh, no, I can't. Fields are big. We can fit some other things over this way. Maybe powered things or something. So, there we go. We got um, all of our logs will be eventually getting turned into planks, which we don't necessarily need. But, ooh, look at them. There's the planks working. Very nice. This is a very pretty game for being uh, so early days. And just being a bunch of beavers. <laughs> Let's see. We got to wait. So, um, we can set, set up... I'm kind of worried about my twig problem here. 23 twigs. How much... How much, uh, yeah, 
We might have to send a few over here to grab some twigs. I wonder if I should have made... Yeah, you take six days. You do make 120 carrots in four days. Maybe I should have just stuck with you. Stick a carrot farm in here somewhere. Stash it over here, I think, as soon as we get rid of this. Chop that guy down. We'll stick a carrot farm over there. That'll be plenty of food. We can probably do uh, less less um, folks on it. Where is that? Here we go. There we go. What is this song? There we go. All right. And once they okay, nine twigs left, we ain't gonna make it. Let me go ahead and mark off over here. Uh, Schubert's growing up. Excellent. So we got another. That's another worker for us. Come over here and they come around this way. So let's just grab a few of these. Make sure we have plenty of twigs for uh, for munching. This guy's hungry, for instance. Gonna grab some from in there. Our, our planks are slowly coming in, slowly working. We got one laborer, which means one guy out doing all the chopping. We got a carpenter, we got carrot field people working. Um, the grill isn't working yet, we don't need it yet. Inventor's hut is now doing its thing. You can see science is now coming in, which is giving us just points that we can spend on various things, like, um, like large warehouses or water tanks or something like that. Uh, let's see, we can put in... I'm not sure what we want to spend our science on. Maybe a forester to build trees back up? We're out of twigs at the moment. Um, let's go put in that road over here. Actually, maybe the best thing would be getting something like a footbridge or a ramp so we could help out get that like a ramp right over there. Might be nice. Or just our, yeah, a bridge across the way here to grab these trees. Any more birch over this way? Maples are good for construction. Uh, here's some birch over this way. We should eventually start running over there as soon as we we can. I might actually tell them to, uh, hey, uh, why, don't you, uh, why don't you stop working on all this? Just grab a few of those. Everyone's starving. You know what? Let's not starve. Run over there and get some get some merch, please. How's these going? 71%. We're actually almost there. And this will give us, it gives us four per one. So it is, it's going to be good as soon as uh, we get to that point. Everyone's starving at the moment. How are you guys feeling? Oh, you're, you are starving. We'll die if not satisfied. Um, I'm going to set up. i got one of you going here. Let's go. Don't work on that. Just one of you there. And I'm going to close this down. Because I need more laborers. I'm going to close you down too. I need people going out there getting some twigs. We're so hungry, we're going to eat twigs. Vinji has grown up. We only have one baby so far. Do we have space for everybody? Yeah, we got space for one more. Oh, we got more. Oh, we got space for three more kids. We're fine. You guys bringing some twigs in? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, haul those in, please. We've got 83% for the uh, potato production. We'll be, I think we'll be in pretty good shape once those potatoes come in. We're just east a few days of starvation. You know, it, it happens. It happens. People need to get a drink while we're out here. I'm gonna run out immediately. Grab that twig. Uh, if you're not working, you are working the fields. I'm not sure the carrot fielder is as necessary, but I'm, I'm a little concerned now uh, about it. These are maple, which are made for building, not birch. Here comes more another uh, group of twigs coming in. There we go. We're fine. Hopefully. Keep those things getting chopped. There we go. Plenty of twigs. Oh, no more twigs. <laughs> as soon as they get brought in, they get eaten immediately. <laughs> How are we doing? Potatoes grow faster. 92%. Come on, somebody like, I don't know, um, fertilize them, poop on the ground or something. We need to get some potatoes in here. We're all dying. At least we got a nice campfire, though, for it. You know, death will be nice. 94%. Keep it coming. So I don't think there's anything else past this. I think this is pretty much it. But we can see, like, once you get tech in there, it takes a while to get to this point. We're only at 50. Um, we could unlock something, though, however. Uh, we can unlock wheat fields. Give us wheat. We have to have bakeries and all that for that to do us any good. Uh, paper makers, we need... We can make paper, which then we can make an inventor's workshop to make us better science. Uh, there's a the gear place over there. Uh, how much was it to get that bridge? 110. 110. 
to get the footbridge. 70 just for the, the ramp, though, which might be useful. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? What you sleeping over there for? You got a house. Don't you have a house? Oh, no, you probably don't. No, you do. Wake up. Oh, potatoes are here. Hang on, hang on. 45 potatoes. Let's put someone back to work in here. And Bungeon, you have a very important job, buddy. Your job is to make sure no one dies. Let's set up another house. A couple more houses in there, I think. Oh, these are building back up. Oh, nice. Didn't even see it. So let's work on those. Let's forget about this over here. Forget about all those. Just grab what you've got. Um, I mean, you can pick up the ones that are on the ground. Right, whatever. Get out. Go back and uh, and stick to this stuff. I'm going to go back to the science man. Put Bill back in there and then turn that back on. Get our, get our planks done. We can get we can get a road over here. Um, I could do some decorations. We can afford that, right? Shrubs? Shrubs will give us some uh, aesthetics. Which beavers like. Beavers like, like aesthetics. So 45 potatoes. Did you not make anything? What have you been doing? Taking the logs. Taking the potatoes. And there we go. Now they're working. Potatoes. Excellent. There we go. Okay. Planks coming in. The uh, the, the planks, the, the path is almost done. We've got 54 science points. I want to spend some. And so I think I'm going to. So let's make a, uh, what is this, high shaft, raised shaft, monument is a lot of points, large warehouse, water tanks, hauling posts. Haulers assist workers within its range to carrying goods, greatly increasing their productivity. Oh, that could be useful. If I had more laborers, that would be very useful. It would be very useful if I had more, but I don't. So I'm just going to make, what is a Lido? Satisfies fitness. Anyone have fitness? No, no one has fitness dealt with. It gives you, I guess it gives you a strength boost if you have it. Oh, social life gives you fertility. Oh, the campfire gives you fertility. I understand. Comfort helps your um, your life expectancy. Aesthetics makes you work faster. Yeah, let's get this Lido. And we'll put it in wherever we can as soon as we can buy it. What's wrong with you? No uh, no planks? Yeah, no, uh, or no logs. You only need a couple more. Uh, do we not have any marked? Yeah. There we go. Get to work on that. Twigs have been brought in, so we have backup food now. we got 80 potatoes in there. Or 70, uh, 68 potatoes in there. Uh, and you've still got something to make, I do believe. you got, like, a five, which will turn into, what, 20 more? And then we got 64. Our carrots are moving along slower because we've got one working on it. But you know what? <clears throat> They'll come in eventually. And you are out of potatoes. I'm going to turn you off. Go back and do whatever else you want. We have the science. Let's go ahead and get... Our, uh, our Lido. What do you do? Oh, what is... Oh, 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 a Lido. Right. Right. I get it. Sure, go in right there. Okay. What do you take to make? Logs and planks. So you're working. Some logs are getting... Okay, seems like they're different. They're, they're splitting them up where they go. I'm gonna grow in one more water thing. Where was the water at here? Let's make sure we have enough water spots here. And that way we can make sure everyone's getting taken care of. We have ten. Uh, Mei Mei was born. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, we need to get uh, some, uh, some some roads going in here. I can't remember everything is. There we go. Like that. Chop these trees down over here. Potatoes. We still have five of them. I don't know why you're not working. You got five potatoes. Get to work. Get those five taken care of. And uh, this is needing planks, which are coming in. Eventually. And I think it's probably a good place to call it a day. I do want to see the Lido. We'll end it at this, uh, at the Lido building. Once we get this taken care of, I mean, this will keep growing. We can always get research, though, and bring in a, uh, a forester, wherever it is here. Which would probably be best to plant new trees and all that. But they seem to grow back pretty quick, actually. But once you get more beavers, we'll need more. We'll get a bridge going across, and we can get these uh, these trees taken care of. And there we go. There's Timberborn. It is still a very early day. There, there's a Steam page, uh, but you can get this if you check out their Discord. 
Uh, that's where I picked up anyway. So you can uh, play out with the play around with the. This is a very early open alpha, you know. And it, and according from what I've seen on the Discord, they seem to be pretty be pretty open to to ideas and and assistance in uh in developing this. So <clears throat> if you're into uh, buggy and um, incomplete games and testing and, and ideas, then well, here we go. I know one thing I want is like little torches to set around the place because it gets very dark around here at night. The campfire looks really good though. We just need a uh, little torches around the place. Something to make it look fancy. Ooh, a double bench. Place for beavers to sit. Is this almost done? Six more, okay. We got the logs. He's working on them. He's just going slow. Actually, he's running all the way over here. We could. I wonder if we set up a separate workbench um, um, storage place, like a warehouse over here, if it would do us some good at helping move things along a little faster. Like, if this is going to be workshop row... We'll put a couple more in here. Maybe we need a warehouse over here to help it out. Because eventually we can get things like we'll have our... Um, I guess not a bakery. What else needs power? Mechanical part. I think all these do. Grist mill turns the wheat into flour. And then the paper mill makes paper from... I don't know. Paper maker takes... Okay, from logs. And we need that for more science. There's the Lido. It's just out for swimming. I want to see some... Some beavers out here swimming. Coming in for a snack. Average well-being is, is six. I'm not sure if that is any good. Um, oh, once we hit eight, we can unlock the eager beaver. Oh. Uh, well, I didn't want that to happen. <clears throat> Thanks again for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time.